Hello, everybody. Welcome to the United Way TV. Yeah, uh, this is my name is Rob Dukan. This is our transfer news and, you know, gossip in regards to Manchester United. Today is match day, guys. Uh, yeah, in today's stories, we do have Kobe Muenu. We want to give some support to Cave Kobe Muenu. You know, we do have also, yeah, uh, um, another player, uh, left defender, you know, uh, in uh, that is uh Luke Shaw who is going to I'll give you guys developments about Luke Shaw today it's very important uh and also uh yeah we'll talk about about a certain player Ivan Antoni most of you know him which uh Fabrizio Romano has just come out and say that he is um United are looking closely too but yes before we start guys please make sure you click the like on the video thanks for all of you subscribing guys you got give, give me give me a, give me a fist bomb guys thanks for all of you subscribing guys and uh, yes meet us on our live stream every weekday from 10 a.m um let me say 9 between 9 30 and 10 a.m so when you are subscribed yeah click the bell so we can uh, get to know each other yeah let's go straight to the news it will be a short eight minute video just want to get you guys on the latest news latest news is okay you know this spread well that zesky has put pen to paper for manchester united uh, and uh, he's presented uh, yeah you can see pictures he has gone for photo sessions he has gone he's come in with manchester united he is a manchester united player Joshua Zeski, what does Zeski brings? I think Zeski is a player which I personally think I, uh, his qualities are this. He is no Maradona, he is no Pele. But what he is, is that he's an unselfish uh, attacking uh, player. We have had a lot of selfish players. I can give you guys a good example. I know our brain, we forget. If many goals were scored by Rashford in our previous um, in the previous goal uh, season, where Marco, where you, you saw Rasmus Holland giving passes, you know, in a situation where you want him to shoot. There is a level of greediness in our attacker. Greediness is good in football, but it's, it becomes an issue when it's a problem for a club. You, we do have people like Marcus who never give his uh, crosses or give crosses. We do have people like Ganacho also play and put their head down. So this is something United we have suffered enough. I have watched some highlights about uh, um, uh, Zeski and he's very unselfish. And that's an encouragement for me on my side. So I think uh, he will be uh, something like a massive value for United. Let's go to the next second story, which most of you have been asking, Rob. So what about the left back? Are we buying Roberto Carlos? I'm joking, you know, he's not he's in retirement. But yeah, but this is a story. Yeah, uh, Manchester United are happy to see the progress of uh, uh, Malaysia's fitness. Malaysia, uh, hopefully he might play tomorrow. And by the way, United have a game tomorrow, if you're not on, on the 15th. The 15th is tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we have a game tomorrow because the the, the club is uh, we're playing again. We we have a game tomorrow and we will the, do our match reaction. Meet us tomorrow on our stream and we'll give you my most information in regards to that because United we have a game tomorrow and I think maybe Malaysia might have some minutes. It's important. This is a guy which most of you have write him off and mostly I also write him off. My my speculation was that Marcel Malaysia has an issue which is more to do with the brain, a psychological issue rather than a physical issue. But the injury, I was aware, is, uh, it is more a physical injury, but it took a lot of time. But the good news is he's picking up steam. And, uh, you know, when you play in an environment of people who trust you, you can easily, it helps a lot. And I think Malaysia, it might help. We have to bring positivity in this team, right? We have to bring positivity. Look, talking about Malaysia, he plays the left back with Luke Shaw, and Luke Shaw will be playing today. Luke Shaw is a player which um, uh highly rated by Manchester United. Uh, uh we I, I saw a, a picture. I think was that a picture? Yes, a screenshot in our group. Let me check it out. In our Instagram group, and uh Telegram group. Yeah, Instagram group. Sorry. Uh, something was written there. Like uh, I think Sergi Mraki was uh, wrote um about Luke Shaw not to tear his hamstring, something of that sort. Not to get injured, basically, because Luke Shaw missed, I mean, over 30%, over 50% of last season. Luke Shaw was on, um, was on available Manchester United. Look, when in regards to you and I, as a Manchester United fan, we are more interested about our football club. Let's be honest. Luke Shaw, most of you, are, are most fans, most honest fans are not really happy with the fact that Luke Shaw went to the Euros because it is simply clear that Luke Shaw had to... Yeah, had to stay and, you know, recover properly. So and this is a game in which you know Luke Shaw. This is uh, this could be this could be the moment that he wins uh, an international tournament, and um, yeah, talking about Luke Shaw, so we we need to just support them at this point. Talking about winning the European tournament, I think uh, Kobe Muenu, who is the man of the time, Kobe Muenu, who I think will be a future Manchester United captain. Kobe Muenu, he will not be a Ballon d'Or. 
unfortunately i think he won't be no matter how good he plays he, he will not win the ballon d'or because of, of the way it goes he is not that kind of star player but he's an honest footballer i can tell you a lot of honest footballers that i knew in football people like clay uh clarence seedorf i think most of you might not know him for young uh, edgar davis those were honest footballer kobe falls in that milieu he got he i'm um, the reason why i think he might be a, a future um a captain for manchester united guys smash a like on the video if you want this guy to be a captain in future and have a successful season look kobe menu is uh representative he's uh, He's, he's our representative. I mean, our. I am. Uh, I, I'm talking about the African continent. When you go on the on on watch games and see someone who has an origin from Africa playing in the European Cup tournament or playing for a top club at United, it makes you feel a little bit satisfied that we have some representative for uh, us in a good way. So because you know most of the time we are represented, not in the best way, guys. So let's be honest. So uh yeah. So Kobe uh, uh Kobe. I think Kobe today. He will have a very good game. He might even become a man of the match. But I think he will have a good game, Kobe Menu, because I, I'm really sure that uh, if he, if the, the manager today doesn't go de defensive, much, uh, uh, the English England might win that game. If England, I was asked a question by one of a United fan, which is someone who has been a United fan for over 50 years. You need to know how old he is. Uh, and he's a Brit, actually. He asked, Ralph, what do you think? I said, look, the only chance England has of winning is that when England goes into this game, this is not one of those games which I think England has to go and soak defense, you know, play on the defensive. If England goes into this game and start playing defensive, will they lose? Because if Spain score England one, one the first goal, right? The first goal, Spain will score another goal because they will just dominate the play. England has to go aggressive, have to believe. So, uh, yeah, fingers crossed for England today. I am a massive fan of Manchester, of um, of um, uh, not Spanish football, but uh, of Real Madrid. But I am Manchester United fan, located in England, and I need to support my players. So last, 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 last uh, story here. Yeah, I want to keep it short here yeah, today. It's from Fabrizio, the real man, um, Romano. This is story has been on the, on the, uh, on all social medias uh, of late, last uh, 24 hours. Ivan Tony, Fabrizio Romano confirms Man United are working on another striker. Look, uh, this story is is warming my head. If Manchester United is going for Ivan Tony, if we are keeping, yes, I think Pelestri will not stay, but we are keeping um, Ahmad in the team. We already have a player like Zeski who can play in the middle and in the wing. We have uh, 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 Ganacho. I am starting to feel that there might be some talks of Marcus Rashford being sold. Marcus Rashford sold is not a question of planning. If a person of someone who has the right money to pay for Rashford, you pay and Rashford will be sold. So I am, when I keep hearing that United are going for another uh, attacker, it gives me, it rings the bell as if United wants to sell, wants to sell a big player. And I uh, want to sell an attack. And I think Marcus Rashford, there is something going behind which I think. Because there is a way United wants to play, guys. You guys are smart. You know what I'm doing, where I'm coming from. Uh, United wants to play. We want to dominate games. It's not about kick and running like headless chicken. We want to control games. And for you to control games, we want players who are good with that. Good in doing that. Not only being explosive, but also can control games. I think there is a strategy there. But... um. Yeah, so we will see as time goes on. But Fabrizio have said that there is a strategy. There is there is an intent for Manchester United going in for another striker. So we'll be keeping you guys on that. And guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. We want to hit 10,000 subscribers. That is, that is easy for you guys. I think you can do it. So make sure you click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell. King Kong. So, so when I'm live, as usual, you know. Anyway, guys, going to watch the game. Hopefully this video downloads because we do have a, a serious issue here. My internet provider has technically failed me all this while. Have a nice day. Good game here from England. Good luck for English English team. And uh, smash a like for the video. Uh, meet you tomorrow at 10 a.m. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.